CIFAR, or the Center for Advocacy and Research. We are a not-for-profit organization established about two decades ago. From there, we began working with the urban poor. At the, the minute we started working with urban poor, you know, we were told by the community, biggest priority is what was called our, you know, comfort in the first hour of the day, and that is wash. I'd like to sort of foreground the entire pandemic crisis. In 2019, May, we were visited by what is called the Fani cyclone. It was a state of crisis. Why am I foregrounding this? Disaster became integral to all our conversation. When the pandemic hit, it was like, you know, another avatar of Fani. That this was a completely unprecedented crisis. They've never experienced anything like this, where everything, you know, gets regulated. Everything, movement, the way you eat, the way you relate to people, the way you, you know, relieve yourself, everything got regulated with very little preparation, literally four hours to prepare for what is called a lockdown. You have to, you have to manage with what you have supplement everything that the government is doing. The government has one frontline worker for one lakh. We had one frontline worker for every 500. Now that's a big difference from something like 70,000 people were reached out to with just the ration, dry kit, whatever the government was distributing. So just being mobilized won't help you. You know, you have to be working there. And they may be sitting in a cremation ground under an overbridge. They may be sitting in what is called the drain pipes. How do you reach out? You can only reach out with local vanguards and local brave hearts. So they then immediately organize relief and they would decide who needs it most. They had done what, I, what we call line listing. So they had line listed. They knew exactly who needed whom. They had also created their own emissaries in every area who could then take on the mantle. I would give the relief packet to one person, then that person would give it to 10 people. All of that was streamlined everywhere. That, you know, the project framework is so important because at so many levels you're prepared. And this is the time when a project like Water for Women Fund really helps. Most important was to remobilize, regalvanize and be ready to work with governments to actually distribute the relief. We are once again facing the pandemic. Everywhere, rosters are being prepared, teams are being rotated, services are being fortified. And in all of this, the government is playing an extremely supportive role. You know, we have a concept of a demon. We call it Asura. So the pandemic has become that Asura. And in, in their folklore, you have to fight that asura. Wall paintings are all about that. Mm -hmm. You know, that terrible asura coming back into our lives. And, you know, we have to slay that demon. Mm -hmm.